In the challenge for creating a for loop, you are asked to create one that counted to 10 and output the value of the counter to the console window. I'll demonstrate one way of performing this. We know that when we're creating a for loop, we start off with the keyword for and open our parentheses to include the appropriate parameters. We need an initialization portion, and in this case, I'm going to create something called counter, and I initialize my counter to zero. Next, I want to verify that I want my counter or my loop to count up to the value of 10. So I will put my conditional in that says counter less than 10, and then I will complete my for loop header signature by putting my increment portion of the counter plus plus. Once I've completed that, I can open my curly braces and then begin to write the body of my for loop. And in this case, all we wanted to do was output to the console window using the console.writeLine method and simply putting in the counter variable to have Visual Studio output the information to the console window. Before we execute this, one point that I wanted to mention was we can take a look at the comparison of the counter less than 10, and we can have a discussion about whether we're actually counting to 10 or whether we're stopping before 10. In this instance, if we execute the application with Control F5, we can see that we count from 0 to 9. So if we wanted to actually count to 10 and see the value 10 displayed on the screen, we simply change our comparison to check for the counter less than 11, and by pressing Control F5, we now see that we truly count from 0 to 10.